Man, you have just got to love a game with such cartoonish characters, but such a dramatic opening. And I have to say, it's one of my favorites. I was thinking about what to play next. And honestly, I kept landing on the idea of playing Sonic Adventure. I am not ashamed to say that I love this game. I feel like this game is very divisive. I know that, you know, it's not perfect by any means. Uh, you know, it's got kind of weird quality issues, and this was the first one from 2D to 3D Sonic games. But for me, I think I kind of had like a different background for Sonic because I never really played the 2D games. For me, Sonic was more of a cartoon character, right? I like loved the uh, Saturday morning cartoons and even the comics. Like I think this super, at least to me, super cool cover was the first one that I saw the Sonic comics and fell in love. And I think I have a pretty healthy collection of like the old school ones. Um, so for me, Sonic isn't a video game character with a cartoon and comic series. To me, Sonic is a cartoon and comic character with a video game. So that being said, when I got my hands on Sonic Adventure, I fell in love. And I don't know how the director's cut. Uh, it's different from the original one. I think it's got a little bit updated graphics, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So there's a little bit of a story, so I'll let it take over. Okay, I said story, and now I'm realizing that's a very loose term or use of the word. Because it's just Sonic hanging out, and this happens to us a police chase. So not much of an introduction to the story. love all the dramatic camera angles <laughs> and I love the fact that they keep the rings in the cutscenes so you have like this weird weird perspective of just these floating golden rings all right this is where we take over chaos zero For some reason they always give a numeral at the end He's not, he's not a bad boss. I mean, obviously, he's like literally the first thing that you're trying to, uh, coming across, so can't make him incredibly difficult. So I was trying to think about what to make, how could I make this a funner experience? Because I think, you know, I think I really enjoy, you know, obviously the randomizers, but I was like, how, what can I do to myself to challenge it so it's not just a normal playthrough? And so I feel like I'm pretty confident in my ability to play this game. I think I could get through most of it without dying. And that is a bold statement, I feel like, for me to say, because this game has a lot of glitches where I think you could just literally fall out of the world. So my original intent was to try to do this without dying. But I know I probably will die at some point. But even if it's not on, based on my skill level. So this is going to be my... You, as few deaths as I can attempt run at Sonic Adventure. And I'll probably have a counter down at the bottom to keep track of <laughs> where I'm at. And hopefully it won't get above zero. Um, but I think the way I'm going to do this series is that because the story is kind of weird with all the different characters, I might do a straight playthrough of each character so i'll have a couple sonic episodes and when i finish sonic's story i'll do tales i think that would make the most sense just because there is some like weird overlap uh on perspective so you kind of do the same events over and over again is what i'm trying to say what tails watch out you're gonna crash 
Oh man, yeah. I can I can kind of see why people people always hark on the uh, the voice acting. I think it's very obvious when you have two characters talking to each other because it sounds like it sounds like two people aren't talking to each other. All right, here we go. This is where if I'm gonna die immediately, or not immediately, but if I'm going to die, it's gonna be one of these levels. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like there's a point where during the killer whale sequence that if you get stopped on the pathway, you just like straight fall through the ground for some weird reason. Okay. So, kind of a fun thing that I have to say about this game in particular is that way back in the day when this was on Dreamcast, I had it hooked up to my TV in my room and I had a VCR also in my room. Yeah, right here. I, I'm pretty sure if I could have fallen through the world right there for some unknown reason to me. But I had a VCR as well and I noticed that not only did it have inputs for or sorry, outputs for the TV. It also had inputs on the front of it. So for those of you who don't know much about like AV cords or uh, VCRs in general, what that meant was that you could take something that output video and audio, like say a uh, Dreamcast system, and you could input it into the uh, VCR and record stuff with it if you had a VHS tape in there. So I actually recorded myself playing this game, years and years ago, I was probably like 10 years old at this point, and I won't give what year that is just to uh, date myself for my own sake. But yeah, this is what I could consider my first Let's Play way back in the day, and who knows where that tape is now, because I think my idea was I was going to play through the game, and then it could essentially function as a movie that you could just watch if you wanted to experience the award-winning story of Sonic the uh, Sonic Adventure. Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. I think we're almost at the end. I haven't even gotten hit yet, so man, I am I'm not gonna say I'm feeling confident. I was honestly thinking about the fact that you know, like, I think it's pretty easy to die in Sonic's levels. And Tails' levels are a little bit easier just because he can fly. Oh, but I was like, I, it would suck so bad if I got the big soul thing. Because you can die if your line breaks. Yeah, not bad. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to Biggs things. I'm kind of curious to see how I'm going to do Biggs. Because I, like I said, I was going to do a series of episodes for each character. But Big, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe something is different. Maybe there's a different... I don't think they re-recorded the audio. Maybe they cut it a little bit differently, but I don't feel like that whole sequence was that bad. I remember, or at least I've been told that the voice acting was terrible, but I didn't really think it was that bad. Maybe I'm just nostalgic as I'll get out for this game, so I'm willing to overlook any any uh, qualms about it. Um, but because I just wanted to note the fact that I had never really played a Sonic game before this one, the Chaos Emerald concept was entirely new to me. I remember thinking that was such a cool, unique concept, only to find out that it's pretty much the only 
or it's a very reoccurring concept in uh, Sonic games. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic. I'm also curious to see how far I can get into this just smoothly because I feel like I know this game pretty well of where to go. And if we ever get stuck, we have that little pink ball that gives us directions of where to go to next. Oh! Dang. That was a sharp, sharp quip, Sonic. He definitely fell that one. Man, they love their dramatic camera angles. <laughs> like... It's more than I would expect. They really want you to hunt or get the fact that Eggman has added things to his little glider thing that he always sits in. His egg chair, I forget what it's called. Easy. Probably by most games of this era, probably games in general of all er eras. I feel like the worst part is just the waiting. Like, the fact that they're the uh, boss is usually invulnerable except for brief periods of time, so you're just basically waiting for that is uh, it's always kind of a bummer. I mean, Zelda's very guilty of that too, so I can't complain. Oh, come on. He's defeated. Why is my time still going up? That could have probably have been in a sub-minute boss fight. I also love the scores. I don't know what the point is. I guess it's just a thing in video games. They like, kept it around. The rings, though. I do know the rings are used for the Chow Garden, which I do not plan on doing because uh, maybe not so much the first one, but I love the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure 2. I... That was a uh, huge time sink for me. In fact, I probably played the Child Garden more than the actual game. Chaos. Oh, I love this concept. The idea of feeding him Chaos Emeralds and he changes. Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? That was like a major thing for me as when I was playing this game. I love like wanting to know what was the next change when you gave him another Chaos Emerald. I remember thinking that was a really cool concept. Robotnik just do like a Batman flash grenade exit. I believe we come up here, right? Yes, and there's for some reason outside of Tails' workshop, which you know, kind of a cool, quaint little thing. Not quite sure what this uh, spinning thing is for this uh, water pool right here. I guess they just like the idea of having movement. And, oh, there's not really a lot of room in here, is there? Well, I guess if they don't have a lot of room, then they don't need to pull it with anything. Okay. That seems like a weird design to have the interact button to be the same one with the spin dash. Especially with the GameCube, or not GameCube, the um, Dreamcast having four buttons. I mean, they could have dedicated another one. Oh, 
Also, I, I, it was kind of a bummer to me when Sonic Adventure 2 came out and it didn't have an open world because, I mean, it's a pretty cheesy open world as far as, like, uh, you know, the whole... I mean, there's not a lot to it, right? But it, I don't know. I thought it was really cool just being able to run around Sonic and his world. I really wish that Sonic Adventure 2 has a similar thing. I don't remember much about this level because I, I do feel like that is one bad thing about Sonic Adventure is like it almost seems like they came up with level designs and then tried to fit a story around it um because like what is this place why what is this thing this is like an old school Sonic uh, level that just kind of exists in its own world Easy enough. I think this takes us... Nope, one more time. That should take us out. And then for some reason we're on these giant floating platforms in the sky. Don't question it, I guess. That's just Sonic's world. <laughs> lives will be useless to us because we are not going to die at any point in this game. Unless, except if we do. Whoa! The favorite part is when you kind of get to like these speed loops and it kind of just kind of goes on autopilot. So you kind of just kind of just sit back and then Enjoy the visual spectacle. Sonic going, running the loop to loop. Easy. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm bragging about how easy it is only to not be able to hit that uh, plunger. There's a thing over here, right? No? It's a puff ball. I don't plan on, I never have, but I, I think it's one of those things that I enjoy this game enough that I should do it. I never have gotten all the medallions. I will not do that for this playthrough just because I don't think that would be enjoyable for anyone. This is just going to be a simple playthrough with absolutely no deaths. I'm kind of curious to see how long I can keep saying that before I actually die. over here. Oh, some more rings. A single ring? Well, that seems like a jip. Easy. 199 rings? Because we never get hit. We're unstoppable. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. The train headed for Station Square will be departing. Okay. Now, I'm guessing go back to Station Square because that's not open yet, right? Maybe we'll talk to Takal, I believe her name. Yeah. You may find something. Let's just go to Station Square. If the floating mystical orb that isn't addressed until the very end, I think, tells you to go to Station Square, you go to Station Square. Oh. Got a nice little scenery change. Okay, well, the Cena area is still closed to us, so I guess we just come out here. Um, no, why waste time? I know exactly where that is. Let's go. All right, I believe it's. Oh my god! Okay, I think we're okay. We didn't get hit. Did you see that hit and run? Did you not just see that guy? He doesn't care. Okay. Enough fooling around. Let's come down to the sewer. I believe I know what's coming. I... Is there anything over here? I've actually never tried. Oh, that's right. I think they did a pretty good job of, like, overlaying the same area for different characters. Like, I think you go that way. Oh, the shoes, that's right. I think you go the other way for a different character. Now you've got light speed shoes. 
Press nice. Press hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. This might sound incredibly nerdy, but I always thought Sonic had the coolest shoes. I don't know why. They're such a weird design, but I'm like, I'm into it. I wish as a kid that they had a pair of real shoes that you could use. Oh, yes, I remember this shop. So, like I said earlier, I won't be doing the child garden, but I do remember this. I love this. So, if you've never played this game before, and I don't know why you're watching this if you haven't, go play the game. I don't think you'll get nearly as much entertainment watching me play it as you would playing it. Uh, but yeah, so there's this golden egg that is actually a chow egg. Uh, but when you try to take it, oh no, it's got a pressure sensor, so, you know, you can't walk out of it. So what do you do? Well, what if we kind of like Indiana Jones came over here and found something of similar size and weight? I mean, this looks pretty good, right? This rock seems to be the same sh general shape, hopefully the same size. So, you know, we come over here, we uh, replace the egg out. And remember, the guy is standing right there, so he saw all this. And we're just walking out with this chow egg right now. But like I said, we won't be needing this, so we'll just we'll just leave it right there. Another thing I love about this area, I mean, you can talk to people. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, wait, she got a new record and what? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but this guy, I don't know if he's like a mannequin statue for this uh, nondescript burger shop, but you can just pick him up. I don't know if that's like supposed to be the fact like I don't know why there's just a gentleman that you could pick up and throw around <laughs> oh man no not sure why that's a thing uh okay now can we go to the casino, to the casino yes okay cool oh but Yeah, but so we could just uh, get the next upgrade. I don't think this one's pivotal to continue, so I think you can get it at any time. I don't know why or who these are for, who left like, these Mega Man style power-ups. But I mean, I'm all for it. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. And, okay, yeah. I remember this now. We gotta build up our charge again, which thankfully we just got the reducer. Nice. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a weird one. Uh, just because of the fact that this is... A really weird level in which you need to collect rings to fill up a vault. I guess I'll, I'll uh, show you what I mean. Again, if you've never played this game, which I don't know why you're watching this if you haven't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that you're here. I'm overjoyed that someone's watched me play this game. But you see, we have this giant empty vault and we have five rings in our person. But this thing shakes us out gets us five rings and oh it's like not even anything and if you can't tell that several th silver thing up there is the emerald that we're trying to get uh so essentially yeah you're just trying to get a bunch of rings in this one and how do you win rings in a casino could you uh perhaps maybe play pinball so yeah that's how that's how this game or this level works is we play pinball which might be a weird thing to watch I forget how many, many we need. I think we need like 300 or something. Maybe we can get that pretty quickly. And honestly, I don't know if there's any skill involved in pinball. I mean, I, I feel like I can do this pretty easily just because it's more of like don't lose the ball as <laughs> I just lost one. Fortunately, this might be a major slowdown. 
I know that the, I remember trying to do like the trials back in the day and just for some reason struggling so much of this one because it's like oh nice uh, because you have to win the emerald in a certain amount of time and I just remember I couldn't do it like I don't know why I'm just not quick enough at doing this thing Uh oh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. If you can't tell, for some reason, if you hold down the joystick, it shakes around. I don't know if that's supposed to be like help you in any way. If it does. I never figured out the advantage of it. Yeah. Up in a perfect world, he would get, like, stuck between those two things. Should have saved all my story time for this part. Because this, this might not be the best. But it, this is kind of like a weird, nice change of pace, because it's like you are... You're not fighting enemies, you're just literally collecting a... Uh, Rings playing pinball, which I don't remember the threshold. If you don't get a certain amount of rings, you end up going into the sewer system and you have to like escape weirdly. Uh, so, but I think, I think we reached that level. I think it's a pretty low threshold. And I think it's like supposed to be like a fun punishment of like, oh, you did really crappy, you played a really crappy hand. Okay, well. Is it 161 rings? Or more like 166 with the five we've already put in there? I'm going to say no. I don't think so. Ooh, that looks like it's still pretty empty. Okay, I think I picked the wrong pinball machine. Uh, I think you want to do the Jack Knights, not the slot pinball. Yeah, I think that one, but I did. I just remembered something that I feel like I need to show off and that if you, again, have never played this game before uh, and thank you for watching me if you come over here into the shower you get a nice little animation of like a steamy sexy Sonic in fact it's probably too sexy and I need to blur that for uh, YouTube's sake okay back to our regular scheduled programming of pinball I guess Yeah, I think this is the one we want to do. I think we want to do Jax. No, Knights. Knights in the Dreams. I don't know why he kept saying Jax. And for some reason, I don't know if it's true, but I feel like there is always more to this pinball game. And if I can pull it off, I don't know what it takes. I, I, at least I don't remember what it takes. Oh, this isn't going to do good. I don't remember what it takes, but you kind of enter this like alternate area. I feel like there's like something you can do there. There's like a, a, a whole nother level to this game that I'm just like straight up not aware of. Do we get three in a row? That's got to be worth something. I feel like that's like a miniature poker game we're playing here on the right side. Song takes me back. I always used to play this pinball version when I came here, so this one's like this song is like engraved in my brain. Oh no, we lo we lose it. Okay, that stinks. We're probably about to get something really good with three, with the three of a kind. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's that there's like a little, almost looks like a reel of film, and like an old school camera. Oh shoot! Well, you know what? This is cool because then now you get to see the uh, sewer system I was talking about.
Okay, I guess a hundred. If you get less than a hundred, that seems like it's a pretty reasonable uh, guess that since we didn't reach that threshold, we uh, were being punished. That's a little embarrassing. Yeah, let's get as many rings. Maybe we can actually finish it here. Oh, God, I can't believe I missed that. There we go. Come on. Keep going up. 200 rings? Wow, actually kind of made off better than previously. So if you also, if you don't know, again, if you haven't uh, played this game before, or I guess any Sonic game for that fact, um, if you get hit, you lose your rings. But for some reason, and I guess it may be like a technical standpoint, you don't get to keep all your rings. Dang it. So 198 rings did not just fall out. Right, it, uh, we did not, we lost all, all of our rings. If we collected all those rings, it would have been like 20 something. Oh, that hurt. That was a lot of rings. Sorry guys, that was a lot of rings to lose. Uh, I do think I'm gonna keep to my 30 minute time limit, which unfortunately is right around here. So I'm gonna desperately attempt to try to get this one done as quick as possible and then uh, call it from there. Wow, this is not looking good. As long as we don't end up in the sewer again, I think we'll be fine. Like, can I shake it? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I really can't remember. How do I get that door to open up? Okay, so yeah. Okay, there we go. We just needed to get a hand, I guess, because now it's open. Can you go up? Can I, like, wiggle you to go up? Oops. <laughs> I just feel like there's like a lot of waiting around. Unfortunately. Fortunately for all of us. Oh, come on. Okay, we almost hit 200. I'm really hoping that if we were to beef it right now, that would be enough to uh, get the emerald. Yeah, go up. I'm trying to shake it. I'm trying to shake it to go up. I know there's probably like just a certain point in the paddle that if you hit it, it just flies up into that door. Wow, we're doing pretty good. There we go. Okay. So, yes. So, if you didn't see what happened, it was very quick. So, essentially, this is like the alternate side of the uh, pin pin board board, I don't, pinball board. I don't know if that's how you would describe it. Um, but you see those rings in the back. Yeah. So, if you hit Sonic through it, you do this like weird little sequence, right? Where you're like being escorted by uh, Night in the Dreams. I don't know if that's his name or like what the whole thing is, but like, oh, it didn't do it. Sometimes you go through like this like 
little area where it's like a nice uh, garden area and there's like this thing floating around. Oh man, it's I'm going to sound like a complete lunatic describing it. But I noticed that every once in a while it would add an orb to like the garden statue area. And I always felt like I don't know what the circumstances were, but if you got it just right... Here, okay, here it is. Oh my god, okay, I was completely confused where it was. So, I guess if you beef it on the alternate side, you see Night in the Dreams there. You see how there's one crystal thing, right? And it just added one. And, but I've never been able to get it to add more, because I don't know what that like trigger is. Because sometimes you'll beef it, and you'll do this, and it won't add an orb. So, I don't know, like... I don't know what the conditions are. If anybody knows, please let me know. I've, it's been driving me crazy for decades now at this point. I think I'm going to quickly try to get to 300 and then call it because I, I think that will be enough. I don't think it's a crazy amount. And I'm going to be so mad if it's like 500 because we're still going to be shy. So yeah, I don't know what that whole dream sequence is, but I wish I knew. I wish I knew what the secrets were to that were. Okay, so that wasn't terrible. It only took us 13 minutes to get the ring, or to get the emerald. Easy. Yeah, not bad. But yeah, I know that there's like a little thing that plays at the end of here, but then definitely we'll call it. Okay, well it tells me what to do next time, immediately. What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Oh, Cream the Rabbit. I don't think that was in the normal game. Maybe that's in addition to the... Um... Director's cut? Anyways, that's another character that came much, much later. Uh, I don't think she was in the original game. But yeah, I, you know, I hope that someone out there is enjoying this because, again, I love this game. I know it's kind of contentious that either people really love it or they really hate it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one where we pick up with Sonic's story and continue this absolutely no There's death no run. <laughs> yeah, as Sonic said, no time for playing around. I'll see you in the next one.